Condolences to Sonia Massey and her family while the officer has been indicted, uh, which is a good thing. Trump has said that he's going to give police officers complete immunity. Now, I want you black people who keep screaming MAGA 2024 to explain to me why y'all not disgusted by this. And furthermore, yes, I'm voting for Kamala Harris. You know why? Because historically, white folks have always looked after their own. So I'm looking after mine. I don't give a fuck if she's Indian, Jamaican, close enough. And you think when the immunity comes down, the cops are going to differentiate between Jamaican, Haitian, African, and Indian? Man, y'all motherfuckers better wake the fuck up. I'm voting for the black chick. DM me for the link. Oh, man. So that was, uh, that's Aries Spears. And look, I, I like Aries as a comic, but man, stay away from the politics. He's definitely an Obama guy. Um, argues a lot on his podcast about how Obama was so great for historical significance and symbolism. And he's one of them. He's a Gen Xer. Uh, he is really entrenched with just symbolism and culture, right? And it's like, y'all don't get it. Me, life, you're supposed to learn from your mistakes. I know I try to learn from mine's at least. If you, to someone to just keep duping you over and over, you're just dumb. How many times... And I said it yesterday when my son talked about Sonia Massey and my son referenced the election three times in his, just like Aries did, he, he he made a condolence. That was supposed to be about Sonia Massey. Then he switched it and pivoted towards the election. Why do y'all always use black people dying from the police for politic advancement? Stop it. That That's disgusting to me. We're going to try to pivot. How are we blaming this on the guy who hasn't been in office since 2020 when the so-called black female that y'all want to vote for is in office right now? She's the current vice president. Am I wrong? Why isn't anyone asking Kamala what she thinks about the Sonia Massey uh, incident? But we, we pivoting and saying, well, Trump wants full immunity. Yes, he does. But guess what? Cops basically already got that. And he's not in office. She is. <laughs> Why are we pivoting the anger towards the person that's not there versus the people that's there? And we're not giving them no accountability. Like, anyway, I don't think it really matters who's in Oval Office when it comes to police brutality issues. That's something that's on a local politic level. Those, you know, things like that get handled. You know, you take that up with the mayor. I think that was in Springfield, Illinois. You take that up with the mayor and the governor of Illinois and all of that stuff. Whoever's in Oval Office, they got way too much going on. They can't focus on police brutality. You think they went out there and made a hit job? Like, come on now. And he goes on, and you see him in his video, Aerie Spears says, she's black, she's close enough. Uh, and he says, well, if when cops see us, do you think they pacify us as Jamaicans, Indians? They're trying to flip that on you. Uh, no, she's not close enough. And I've been seeing a lot of people this week trying to validate as much as they can. I seen Ebro from Hot 97, and I don't know how he's walking the streets of New York without somebody slapping him. He had the audacity to say, wait till they find out Malcolm X's wife was half Caribbean. I'm like, what are you insinuating? It doesn't matter. Malcolm X always identified as a Negro American man from day one and stood 10 toes down for his people. If that was the, the case for Kamala, despite her being all mixed up like a mutt, it wouldn't be that bad, but she has never stood 10 toes down for black people. She didn't even identify as a black woman, no less than before she got into politics. Come on now. But they with this anything better than Trump. I mean, that is the most ignorant, laziest way. If, you, if you're one of them kind of people, please don't show up and vote. Just sit home. That That is not a, that. No, just don't even waste people's time with that ignorance, man. If you're not going to do it for the right reasons, then just sit at home. Uh, but if you want to stand on your cry soapbox like Ari Spears, you know, telling everybody, then he goes on his comms ca uh, caption and says, I don't care about her being a prosecutor. That was the past. And look, I haven't even mentioned that. A lot of brothers just flat out don't like her because she was a prosecutor. Allegedly, she was a dirty prosecutor in California. I don't know. That's a generalized statement. I don't know who all was innocent and who wasn't. Uh, but yeah, she was locking people up back, back in the day. My whole thing is, how do you go from being a prosecutor and then jumping ship? She wasn't a senator. She wasn't a governor. She wasn't 
a mayor, she just jumped from that basically to Oval Office. <laughs> she, and that's why people are buying the rumors that she slept her way to the top. You know, but I'm seeing that, that like I say, this is going to be a clown show. I see that they did a commercial with her earlier today, Beyonce singing in the background. I'm like, yep, they know y'all love Beyonce. <laughs> they know it. They are going to pry on this. And it's just, it, the sad part is for some of these Negroes, it's going to work because they just, they, they, they stuck, man. I don't know. How, how many times can people dupe you? There's no other race of people that can be played like this. You can't sell Jew people, Jewish people and say, hey, vote for us. And uh, we're only selling you culture and, and emotions. You know, you got to give these people a, a, an agenda or a, a reason to vote for them. Only black folks, you can do, sell them with culture. Oh, slap Beyonce on there, and they'll they'll, they'll like that, you know. And, and black folks just eat it up. And I'm like, man, I'm, I'm psh, can't save everybody, I, and I'm not putting on my cape to save y'all. If you you deserve what you get, and like I say, people like we we fail politically because of people like this, people like Aries, and there's a lot of y'all out here like that. I mean, some of my loved ones are even like this, but y'all are the reason why we fail politically because you 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 don't want to see it for what it is. I mean, I had to tell my cousin, he was watching the My Song video and said, I didn't see him bring up politics. I'm like, nigga, watch it again and turn your emotion off and comprehend the terminology he's spewing. He referenced the election three times and, and, and he's supposed to be claiming he wants justice for Sonya Massey. No, you don't. You want to get votes. Y'all are some sick bastards, man.